Catch Amazing Minds, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 20 hours Central African time on YouTube, Google, Apple, and Spotify for podcasters. Zambia's first late night show. Switch my heart and do you, you will find It's love for you All I got is love for you Oh yeah, yeah There's no lie I will hold you Come over Forever be my lover Oh my name best I can do the look at Ho 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 <laughs> Merry Christmas everyone Is that the sound of Christmas there? <laughs> That's the sound of Christmas. Oh, oh, yo, oh, oh. you didn't really grab with these things, eh? <laughs> still, still good enough. You were Jehovah's Witness at some point, weren't you? Why have I always assumed mm, that you I was Je- Jehovah's Witness? Yeah. I don't know. Do you think Jehovah's Witnesses are wise when they grow up? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if this can fit my head. Uh, in the spirit of Christmas. Stop talking about heads. Boy. I don't want to try that. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> Head too big? <laughs> All right. Oh. Innocent guys. <laughs> no, we we don't want to witness that. <laughs> All right. You're welcome to Amazing Minds, Zambia's first late night show. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that bell and share. Compliments of the season. It's Christmas time. Uh, Chofi is getting ready to go to the village to yep. spend Christmas there. Yeah, my village. Your village. <laughs> Malawi? <laughs> no, not that one. Immigration, are you watching? My Zambian village. <laughs> Your Zambian village. <laughs> oh. I like the sound of that. And a DJ can dig a knife. Bartram can dig. This is a Bartram can dig. Isn't that an insult to my person? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so once again, show is available Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 20 hours Central African time. And you can listen to the podcast on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Um, there's something I, all, I, I always say after this. What is it? Welcome, but uh, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Oh, yeah. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Mondays are for political discussions. Wednesdays are for the educative segment. And Fridays, we didn't air the educative segment this past week we had we were waiting for thomas and Carl. We, we yeah we had um uh circumstances Z- zesco issues this time it was purely <laughs> so what do you think about the other thing <laughs> it, it was purely <laughs> outside of our resting yeah issues. by the way what's happening with zesco yeah every time we see sign of rain the power is gone the power is gone we we had a couple of days actually in studio where we had no power like mm-hmm. all day so okay. crippled work here Oh, uh, a lot crip- of people are crippled work at my other work uh, <laughs> and yeah too bad a lot of people are complaining yeah maybe not cheating a boy about two is mm, secretly uh, maybe the dam is leaking again and they just haven't told us oh maybe man's in my water levels no oh, water levels are since it, it hasn't been they are replete with excuses this time <laughs> there's so many reasons why power could be going <laughs> maybe it's the dollar <laughs> we hear it's going at 25 25 and one <laughs> yeah so show is available mondays Wednesdays, and fridays 20 hour central african time and podcast is available same day same time google podcasts apple podcasts and spotify um yeah fridays for bible talks we just had a bible talks this past week with prophet gomezio we're discussing the gift of faith was an interesting one please watch it catch up please give the man of god some views huh? <laughs> but the man of god on the show and you don't want to give him views yeah how are you doing sir i'm good how are you dr dj badram kandeke <laughs> I'm a blessed young man. Speaking of Kandeke, he released a very interesting statement. We'll be looking at that later on on the, <laughs> on the show today. Kandeke's statement. Um, yeah, by the way, the, the Friday show was good. Was good? Yeah. I think I'm a fan of uh, Prophet uh, Gomez. Yeah? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been following him on Facebook. Okay. I think he's one of those guys who seems genuine. Yeah. No, no, no. Definitely he is. He is. We've, we've had a a rich history of, of doing ministry and prayer together. Okay. We were once part of 
an organization, a Christian organization. Mm. He was the prayer coordinator. I was his vice. So we spent a lot of time. He used to make me fast. Okay. <laughs> yeah. In my thinner days. <laughs> <laughs> in your right. slender days. In my slender days. <laughs> All right. So we have a lot of, not a lot, but a couple of interesting subjects we're discussing on the show today. To begin with, we'll discuss the Chingola mine uh, accident. Give you an update on that. We'll discuss Misa Zambia. Or oh, is it Miss Zambia? We're almost ready. Miss Zambia. <laughs> Miss Zambia condemning the harassment of journalists by police. Uh, we'll discuss President Lungu's longing for his benefits to be back and your maps questionable crew crew. <laughs> yeah, a lot of interesting subjects have gathered for us today. Uh, once again, we would like to thank Central Alternative Limited for putting all this together and helping us do this show. It's a privilege to have trusted us with this uh, assignment and vision, and we are hoping to see you guys come on board by your subscriptions, your likes, your comments, and everything else. We, 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 we. Yeah, <laughs> and we're glad for Mr. Chofia here, who is yeah. uh, ever ready to give us his thoughts on political, <laughs> yeah. on political issues. Please, leave the Commander-in-Chief alone. In fact, yeah. We are going to blame him very soon. No, no, no. Leave the commander in chief alone. <laughs> um, ultimately, is there something on the news? Today, is there something on the news to blame <laughs> him for? <laughs> he's the one to blame. <laughs> or is he secretly the owner of the crew crew? <laughs> Guys, this is purely a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Lest we find them outside waiting. <laughs> ah, sir! <laughs> we can find the, the police outside. Ah, sir! We enjoyed the show today. <laughs> Man, capsule. <laughs> Ika ken. <laughs> Tell your friend when you're done. Mara, it's my camera. It's on the PC. Pants are going to go hardware. I saw you drinking something else earlier. Uh, yeah. Well, I didn't prepare for it to come back. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Destruction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was having a drink. You're having a drink, eh? Yeah. So you've reverted back to your. Default settings. Yeah. Some caffeine. S some caffeine. Yeah. Is it caffeine or caffeine? I met someone at church yesterday mm -hmm. who told me they have been watching the show. So encouraging. Mm -hmm. Oh, I watch your show. I also <laughs> met someone who talked about you. Oh, what did yeah, they say? They are Someone called me Balaz. Balaz. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> that was the me, hey, German, we had quite the information, you know, the abandoned come away, do we? Serious. <laughs> All right, so to start with, nine sincerely mine accident victims interred. This word was new to me. I just learned it now. Okay. It means that it means putting to rest yeah. in all forms of putting to rest. Mm -hmm. It's a blanket statement for... Oh, Chofi dying like jokes about the dead. All right. <laughs> Relatives came from all but that walks. that was funny. <laughs> it was, it. Yeah. Yeah. Relatives came from all walks of life to pay their last respects to the loved ones, to their loved ones who lost their lives after heavy rains last week led to a disaster and trapped more than 30 people. Also present were different stakeholders, including members of parliament, as well as various government officials to give their last respects. And President Haka Indihichilema, who was also in attendance, to equally pay his last respect, encouraged relatives to take heart and continue believing in God. Let us all simply accept, accept God's will because we do not know. The colleagues we have put to rest, this may be the way God wanted. I am really correcting the punctuation here. Let us continue to believe in him and worship him and thank him for the one soul which has been rescued. Uh, he will live to tell the story once he recovers fully, he said. President Hichilema said, the search and rescue will continue for those that are still missing. I can't lie to you guys. It was a bit hard to read that. I had to self-punctuate and include words that weren't there. You but obviously were reading. Run, it's not easy. No, 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 it's not easy to gather. Even if you put it in wrong ways, <laughs> it's still not easy. No, we're not encouraging you. <laughs> you may it. misspell and miss out punctuations, but it's not easy to gather information. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but impossible, man. No? Eh, but hmm, 
It's not easy to read your stuff. Not easy, Mwevan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mwevan, it's not easy to read your stuff, Mwevan. <laughs> yeah, so uh, nine victims were put to rest. The president was there, which again is a good sign of leadership. And uh, he thanked the Lord for the one individual that survived. We gave you the news last week when his colleagues were saying, ah, ni milako. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was a milako and this guy was uh, rescued. So the president said, at least we have something to thank God for. Uh, even though we have lost multiple lives, I hear the South African government has, has been engaged in helping us retrieve. Okay, I don't um, know about that. Yeah, because the rains, know, the rains the, have continued. Yeah. So as we heard from the Minister of, the Minister of Mines last week, uh-huh. when they are trying to retrieve the bodies, some of them are disintegrating. Yes. And now the rains have continued on the yes. Copper Belt. Yes. And so the tunnels have flooded again. Yes. So the rescue operations have also become dangerous. Exactly. I don't know if we can still call them rescue operations. Retrieval <laughs> operations. And so they... From yeah, what but I today hear, is uh, day 17. Should be day 17. Day, day 17 today, yeah, right? 16 or 17. Because uh, they were trapped oh, yeah, okay. on, uh, I think, Thursday night, which was on the 30th. The 30th. Yeah. What's the day today? Today is the... Should be 17. Today is 17. No, today is the 18th. 18, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, 18. So it's been 17 days, actually. It's been 17 days, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, it's sad. These people have passed away. I hope it won't be a burial ground for some of them, but it appears like... Yeah, and you know, yeah. the other thing is that if uh, someone was trapped there and they died and they've been dead for uh, 17 days, mm. uh, that means that their body has decomposed. Yeah, I'm sure to a point where it's hard to recognize them just by looking. Yeah, they are probably unrecognizable. Yeah. Uh, so actually, the yeah. government said that they will do DNA. So they really? Make use, yeah. They'll make use of DNA. Yeah, Speaking of DNA, is it true imagine. that the the DNA facility in Lusaka, this is off topic, mm. charges only 200 kwacha or is it 100 kwacha? I think we need to do some research on that. I, I don't know about the center in Lusaka, but I know that you can do DNA for free this day. For free? Yeah. There are a lot of organizations that will help you. Mm, okay. Yeah. I know about Tinashe Mugabe. He's a Zimbabwean, but uh, his services are also offered here. Mm. Yeah, he actually got a, he's got a show. Are these Some people details. that you would have to apply online for? So, for yeah, you, you have to do some some sort of application. So they are not um, walking. You can't walk in. To... I don't know about that. I don't know about that, really. Okay. Yeah. Because that sounds like the way you would say, if you don't have money, legal aid will help you. Uh, it, so, it kind of sounds like that. Yeah, it does. Uh, it does. But legal aid, of course, you can walk in there, right? Yeah, legal aid has centers where mm-hmm. you can. Yeah, but so, I yeah. don't know whether these free DNA uh-huh. places have centers you can actually walk in. I don't know about that, but I think we're getting there. Yeah, yeah, because for Tinashe, the one who does for free, I don't think they've got a center actually in Zambia. Mr. Right? Chofia, how did you know? Hmm? How did I know what? That you do that Tinashe is offering free DNA. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> my friend, it's a small world. <laughs> it's a small world. <laughs> Did you hear how he said it? It's a small world. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I know I tease your pronunciations. Enough. <laughs> not world. <laughs> not not world as in W E L D. No, no, small world. <laughs> not world as in W E L D, but world. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> moving on, Miss Zambia, or is it Miss Zambia? <laughs> has put out Actually, Miss <laughs> is Media Institute for Southern Africa. Oh, Media, <laughs> Media Institute for Southern Africa. Yeah. Miss Zambia has put out a statement <laughs> condemning uh, the police recent interruption of one uh, EFF president, Kasonde Mwenda's statement. Uh, where he was giving a statement that the police came and interrupted, saying, hey, can you please stop that? We'll play you the video. It was quite funny when you hear, it really sounded like the police. (laughs) Mr. Zambia has received with sadness the report of harassment of journalists during the Economic Freedom Fighters press briefing, which was held in Kitwe this morning. Uh, This was a couple of days ago. Information reaching Mr. Zambia indicates that armed forces, or rather armed police officers, harassed the journalists who were covering the EFF press briefing by forcing them to delete the pictures and videos they took while other journalists 
had their gadgets like phones and cameras confiscated, citing that the press briefing was an illegal meeting because the EFF party leader did not obtain did not obtain a permit to hold the gathering. Now, first of all, I would like to give you guys, the journalists, a word of advice. I once was stopped by the police who were taking photos somewhere uh, and the police came saying, no, this is a, what do they call it? They called it something that can't be captured on camera and they deleted our, <laughs> our pictures. Oh, have you experienced that before? Yeah, I have. Interesting enough, I realized the police do not know that there is a deleted folder. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> advice to the journalists. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and so this was Mr. Mwenda's uh, briefing. And you also look at the general aspect of uh, the economy on the Copper Belt and the economy at large. And uh, uh, without uh, um, uh, so much um, into what we are discussing, I would like to give this opportunity to the President of the Economic Freedom Fighters, uh, President Kasonde Mwenda, to, I think, discuss these uh, very important issues that are affecting our country. Thank you so much. President. Um, it's your time. Thank you so much, Mr. Secretary General of our channel. Morning. We are very grateful to you, the media, for finding time. Uh, Kitwe is always um, a heart to us. It is a birthplace of our academic careers for some of us. We look back to this place as a bedrock for Zambia with the privilege that it plays a strategic role on the Copper Belt. So we had to choose uh, Kitwe to come and hold our press briefing because of its strategic position being so central, being so connected. So we are honored for your heeding to our uh, invitation. Hello. For your... Can we stop what we are doing? Do you hear the last part? Masani Makamera. Yeah, I want to avoid <laughs> laughing because this is a sad situation. I know. By the way, before you give your comments, there are four reasons why the police should have stopped this. Number one, there was a cut in the background. <laughs> Number two, did the guy next to him just sneeze? Oh, I didn't see or that. Or did I see that correctly? I don't know. Number three, he almost spilled water on the laptop. Number, oh. number four, what kind of camera quality is that? <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, Mr. Chuck. <laughs> May I like to any... Thank you very much. Eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Eh? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Was anyone actually in attendance? <laughs> yeah, there were some media personnel. Yeah, so yeah. Anyway, my comment on that, I don't like it, first of all. I don't like this harassment because, uh, and the police are saying that uh, this was an illegal meeting. Yeah. Uh, they're talking about a permit. Do you need a permit to, to hold the, the press briefing? I don't know if there's any law that asks people to get a payment. Yeah, that, that would be news to me. Mm. I'm not too sure of that. Yeah, so I think that this this is dangerous and uh, this is more like gagging the media. Mm. And the media, you know, we depend on the media to disseminate the information. Mm. So if the police would be harassing and gagging the media, then we're heading a very dangerous road. Yeah, that's a bit of a scary because next, they will start coming on the sets of podcasts. <laughs> eh? Can you drop that camera? You shall I? Shall I? Yeah, you will ask you. <laughs> Can yeah, you drop so, that camera? Yeah, so this is a, a worry side, actually. A worrisome side. Yeah. Yeah, I think that uh, the media should be left to do their job. I mean, if Kasone Mwenda is doing something illegal and the media is capturing him, I mean, he should be the one to blame. Yeah. He should be the one to face the consequences. I don't think it's necessary that you even take the the journalists, the police, you make them delete the footage because mm. I can only imagine what they went through while that was happening. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, because it's quite scary to have men <coughs> with guns, armed men, mm. given that in Zambia, armed forces fire by mistake. You find that they wanted to kill the cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were trying to shoot the cat in the background uh -huh. and accidentally shot Mr. Mwenda, God forbid. Yeah, so <laughs> it must have been a very traumatizing experience you know. mm. uh, it's always a traumatic experience to be harassed by the police who supposedly mm. are our friends yeah it's funny that this is happening actually in the UPD government i know yeah. and we keep this is becoming a song now mm. it's becoming a song i'm almost serious. beginning to, be, to believe you <laughs> <laughs> i'm almost starting to believe you honestly speaking because i've been i've been very defensive of them I mean, no, okay. no 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 it's just a one time thing uh, no come yeah. on guns misfire yeah. and it's it's dangerous yeah it's dangerous because uh they are sort of using a heavy hand. Uh, so, 
Ni open, eh? Come as it was. No, I open up or you pin to me for me. They think people are quiet, but people are talking. Yeah, and that's the, always the challenge with people in leadership the fact that you, when you're in a position of leadership or privilege, mm. it's not very easy to know what's in the grassroots, mm. what the people at the very lowest level are actually saying. Mm. And I guess this is what caught PF by surprise, mm -hmm. uh, given that we saw. Uh, President Lungo jumping gladly on his chair, talking about how he will hand over powers to himself. Uh, he clearly thought he will, he will win. He did not know what was going on in the ground, on the ground. And this is a dangerous position for them to be putting themselves mm -hmm. in. And I think the powers that be, the powers responsible, this, sorry, I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> the powers responsible should do something about this at least let us begin to feel like the armed forces are actually here to protect us and our friends because the tone with which they speak mm -hmm. the way they'll drag you yes some of them will slap you yeah. you know um this reminds me i have a relative who opened a bar mm -hmm. some a couple of years back mm -hmm. and he invited a, a guest artist but the, his bar was in a resi seemingly residential area mm -hmm. so one of the residents in the area called the police mm -hmm. and said ah the people here are making noise there's an artist did i just say there's an artist <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> i know my, my teacher mr mr shane would be upset. Mr. What? mr shane <laughs> Yeah, anyway, so they, they called the police saying there is an artist and um, uh, they're making noise. When the police reached, the first question they asked is, who is the owner of the bar? Uh -huh. The guy came out thinking, oh, these guys are here to reason with me. He did not even know why the police were there in the first place. Okay. Do you know what the first thing they said to him was? Uh -huh. It was five fingers on his face. They slapped him so hard, he fell to the ground. Now, this approach by the police towards us. By the way, I saw a poster uh, uh, on the road. There is now an, an agency mm. agency out there. I didn't know about it. I think it's called PPCC or something where you can report police harassment. Oh, yeah. There's a Police Public Complaints Commission. Yeah. I think maybe those guys should be given more teeth because now we are afraid of everyone in uniform. What are they going to do to us and get away with it? Mm -hmm. So, honestly speaking, this behavior that was portrayed to Mr. Kasonde um, when that is... And called for, and this is what yeah. Misa and especially to the journalists. I mean, yeah, yeah, because uh, maybe the 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 intelligence wings knew something that we didn't know that because when they wanted to share, yeah, and it was necessary that they stopped the meeting. Mm. But the harassment of journalists, to me, that is what is unnecessary, and yeah. that is what is dangerous. And if you had to ask me in twenty twenty one before we voted, if I saw something like this happening in the UP, and they would say no. Yeah, yeah. So Do, it's really a big disappointment. This is what has led to the whole defund police campaign in America. Mm -hmm. Because the police at some point, anyway, of course it has its own issues mm -hmm. and different views about it. But to some people, the police seemingly became a dangerous force mm -hmm. where citizens begin to feel unsafe by the people that are supposed to protect them. Anyway, let's not it's get passionate. Let's, let's not get passionate about this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mr. Statement, uh, part of Mr. Statement was... Mr. Zambia holds the media in high esteem as it is the fourth estate that provides checks and balances in the country. Hence, the Zambia police is urged to treat them as a stakeholder in the development of the nation. I agree with Mr. Zambia. Uh, civilization was built on the backbone of free speech. If mm. people weren't free to talk, women wouldn't vote today. True. Yeah. So uh, the police had uh, <laughs> something to say. Uh, I won't call it a defense, but they had something to say. Check it out. We also went there to the place where the Kassonde uh, was having, Kassonde uh, Mwenda was having an illegal meeting. They were all asked to accompany the officer to the police station where the screening was done, and later on, the, the journalists were given back their guidance and then they went to their daily work. So this is what was bad when we went there. You know, you are aware that we couldn't start being screaming at a premise which is not a, a security violation. So we had to start speaking. All of them had went to the police station, where now it was established who was the journalist and who was the uh, political complaint out This comes at a time when Zambia has observed the International Human Rights Day, but reports of violation, harassment, 
and intimidation of the media makes sad readings on a day such as this one. Victoria Kayeye Yambani, Diamond News. Why does she have to talk like that? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how they teach them to talk? <laughs> Zambia was in the mood to work on beaters with Jabi Papa News. Surprisingly. This is Victoria. I don't know who told them that's nice. I'm Bani. I'm on TV News. I don't know who told them that's nice. But anyway. Uh, basically, what he is saying is it's a procedural issue. They were constrained by the fact that that wasn't a... Whatever the procedure is, at least do it with courtesy. Yeah, plus he's also making an excuse that... Uh, the, the journalists were gotten because they, they couldn't tell the, the journalists from the, the other guys who were in Kasundi Mwinda's part. <laughs> so it's like they just got them, bundled them together, and then they reached the police and then started identifying, oh, you are a journalist, you can go. Mm. Here is your gadget. Mm. Yeah, but they, they deleted the footage. Isn't this the same mistake that they always make at Unza when uh, arresting rioters? Mm -hmm. Isn't this what led to Vespa's death? In somewhat. Yeah. yeah, so maybe you should change your formula. Yeah, to me, you know, this just smells of uh, people just abusing their powers. Yeah. That's what the police are doing. Hey, this they explanation might, is... They might abuse their powers on us. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this statement by uh, Ray Hamonga, it's yeah. a PR stunt. That's what it is. That's to true. me. Yeah. Yeah. So they saw that they did something wrong and they want to cover up. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they are making all these excuses. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact is that they, 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 we heard from the journalists themselves, right? Were there? Oh yeah, definitely. The journalists. Uh, there was a who, who was the journalist talking to you? Um, I don't know her name. A female journalist. I don't know her name really. Yeah, but anyway. she mentioned another journalist. Yeah. Anyway, listen to what the journalist had to say. Uh, there was a journalist uh, who was who had a camera. I'm not sure from which media house. So they constricted his camera and told him to delete the footage. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was myself and Diana from uh, Flavor Radio and TV. And they asked that we hand over our phones to them and have the recordings deleted. But Diana and myself refused to give them our gadget. Yeah. Are the police actually allowed to demand your gadget? Are they allowed mm -hmm. to demand that you give them your gadget? I don't know about that. I doubt. I don't know because I don't there's any law because that's like to. for example if my phone is locked mm -hmm. and uh, I give them my phone and they don't have the password mm -hmm. can they force me to give them yeah I guess if you are if there's an investigation but and they're searching do, do you know do you know why a, do, I'm sure when they have a search permit they can do it because you should not also maybe if they have a search a, permit because there's also a cyber security and cyber crimes act that was enacted during the PF time. Ah, okay. Which actually allows the authorities to record some of your phone calls mm. without your consent or without any permit. So what any, happens with WhatsApp without calls? Without any search warrant. What happens with WhatsApp They can calls? actually intercept. Calls. Even though they are end-to-end -end decrypted, can they? Oh, about WhatsApp, I'm not sure. Telegram, WhatsApp? Uh, so Telegram and WhatsApp use different technologies. Mm -hmm. I know that mm -hmm. we can't get into that. Yeah. But what they tell you is end-to-end -end encryption. That's nothing. If someone wants to hack into your phone and see what you're doing on WhatsApp, they will. So what you're telling me is someone can listen in on my WhatsApp call? So uh, for the authorities, I don't know if they've got jurisdiction on that, hmm. but they've got jurisdiction to listen to your actual calls. Okay. Yeah. So if because people, just said, if people just said using WhatsApp calls. I don't know, but I think that uh, that law, I'm sure it provides for them to even listen to WhatsApp calls. But the fact is that they I won't have think, access into. Yes. Hmm. Yes. I think so. Because to gain access to see someone, what they're doing on WhatsApp, you need at least some more advanced technology mm. than what they, because what they use is just Zikta and the mobile service companies. Maybe we they should also Zikta, start buying. They use Airtel, they use MTN. Maybe we should start buying those cameras that upload to a cloud <laughs> <laughs> as you are recording. <laughs> okay. So that in case, in case, case more, say, hey, Zika my camera. <laughs> it's already on the cloud. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, you can tell she's shaking. Yeah. She's scared. Yeah, this is sad that it's happening in the UPND government. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, President Lungu is back. Now he has a couple big I know, right? <laughs> yeah, so the state has rejected the plea by former Republican President Edgar Lungu to have his benefits reinstated following his public announcement that he has come back into active politics. Attorney General Mulilo Kavesha has cited Section 5 uh, number one of the benefits of 
former president's act chapter 15 of the laws of zambia which prohibits the payment of benefits to a former president who engages who is engaged in active politics recently the former president through his lawyer likanda kalalu kalaluka i think it should be likando likando eh? mm. likando kalaluka wrote to the attorney general demanding the state to accord him the full complements of the benefits that he is entitled to which that he is entitled to which include a fully functional office and vehicles among among other benefits mr kalaluka described the state decision as a violation of their client's freedom of expression association and assembly for indicating an intention to hold an elective office yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, honestly speaking, we are tired. Yeah, you know, this say this says a lot about Ed Galunga and his leadership. Yeah. Yeah, because this is a guy who came and he was crying, saying, No, I'm getting back into active politics. Uh what I'm getting from the street from the state is actually crumbs. Yeah. Uh I I'm ready to face whatever is coming with this. <laughs> yeah. So I mean yeah. I know that this issue will still be in court because uh it's the it's the sorry, it's the I don't say this issue yeah. is still in court because it's a high court that actually made this ruling i think mm. so they still want to take it to the con court so ah. i know that probably we might need a legal mind to tell us exactly what's happening but for me it looks like it's a non-start yeah and i think it affirms what we said earlier about how mouse sampas uh, taking over the party was unexpected and it mm -hmm. prompted them to act faster than they planned mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. It's like they had a plan to come back, but they wanted some time to pass. Mm -hmm. Then Mao Sampa did his thing mm -hmm. and forced them to act mm -hmm. without thinking of the consequences fully and properly. It makes sense. Yeah. And, you know, I'm I, I'm thinking that, you know, and it's actually another reason why we're saying Galung is not a good leader. Mm -hmm. Because if he had plans of coming back, and we saw that in some of his actions. And I'm not talking about the jogging. I'm not talking about going to church. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm talking about the language that he used to give out to the people. Yeah. You could always tell that uh, this man is coming back. Yeah. But then he didn't announce that because uh, he was enjoying the benefits. I'm not saying that's the reason. I'm saying this is why we are seeing that Ed Galung is not a This is our hypothesis. Yes. This is our analysis. So maybe situation. he was enjoying the benefits and wanted to keep enjoying until the last minute. Mm. when he says that he's coming back. But as you are saying, because of Mao Sampa, now they were forced to say they are back in active politics before actually being ready for the consequences. Yeah, They told us, he told us that he sat as thing, sat as memorial. He told us that he is ready for anything that mm. will come. Mm. This is one of the things. Mm. Because according to what I read in the law, it is clear when he talks about all the benefits of the president, mm. in the end it says these benefits will be forfeited if one, the man is getting a salary mm. from the state, so it could be that he's still employed by the government and getting a salary. Mm. That's a condition to forfeit those uh, benefits. Yeah. The second is very clear also that if someone is into active politics, mm. they don't only talk about active politics, they also define what active politics is. And one of the definitions of active politics is holding a position in a political party. Mm. Yes. So... Mm. President Ed Galung did, on, did not only did um, President Ed Galung not only announced that he's back in active politics. He also announced that he, he's still the president of the PF as he was elected in 2021. Yeah. Until the next general conference for the 2026 elections. Yeah. So he was simply telling the public that he's still the president of the PF. Yeah. Which is a political party. Which. Which makes him in be in active politics. Exactly. Which makes him forfeit some of the benefits. Exactly. So we thought they were ready for this. Quite frankly, the PF is wasting our time because we shouldn't be reporting on this. Yeah, me too. I yeah. think so. I think they are wasting our time. <laughs> uh, to more serious news. <laughs> I doubt. <laughs> <laughs> the Anti-Corruption Commission has seized a motor vehicle from one Elton Mlenga, popularly known as Your Maps. So this has been making rounds in the media. Uh, Your Maps is the subject of so many theories currently from the guy is not his to is he involved in crime to is he really rich to oh maybe he's not making as much money to uh, i think it's the wife's fault <laughs> anyway <laughs> everyone is saying everything because somehow the whole country is interested in this car
And the ACC gave an official statement on the same um, in, in form of a letter. Check it out. The Anti-Corruption Commission wishes to confirm that it has seized the motor vehicle, Toyota Land Cruiser VX, registration number, blah, 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 which was in custody of a renowned Zambian musician, Elton Mlenga, aka Yomaps. The seizure relates to blah, 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 blah. I'll read the last part, which says the commission will ensure that it continues uh, to carry out the mandate objectively, regardless of social. No, that's not the part I wanted to read. The suspects are alleged to have acquired several properties, including the said motor vehicle, which was in Yomaps custody, but registered in another person's name. The commission has since seized the vehicle and restricted the other parties as they are deemed to be proceeds of crime. The public is advised That's that your maps is not a subject of these investigations. So SEC have made it perfectly clear that your maps is not a subject of this, these investigations. He's not a criminal. How does that even make sense? That he's not a subject of the investigations? Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because he, the, the motor vehicle was in his custody, so. Um, I guess the issue is about where he bought it from. And it's like if you buy a phone mm -hmm. from me, God forbid, and I had stolen it, mm -hmm. you might be arrested only because they're trying to find me. So, okay. I see. You, you, you understand, right? Yeah. So it's about the actual source of where the car came from mm -hmm. being suspicious. And when your maps bought it, he simply put his money into uh, a suspicious person. So, okay. Anyway, yeah. Just before you go any further, I want mm. you to look at this statement properly. Yeah. Are you looking at it? Yeah. You've seen the way it's been done. This is a professional statement. Yes. Professional <laughs> PR statement. I think I know where you're going with this. You see the alignment. <laughs> this has been done by a professional who knows what they're doing. I can see where the logo is. Yeah. You can see where the logo is, right? Exactly. You can see how everything is aligned, everything is put. I'm not uh, in support of the, the whole statement. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm neither in support or not. I mean, I don't have anything to say about that. Yeah. But I can look at the profession, the professionality. Eh? Professionalism. Professional. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm here to guide you, to hold your hand <laughs> through this journey in English. <laughs> <laughs> the professionality. Or the professionalism. Uh -huh, that you. is here. Yeah. You can see that the person who did this is a professional. No, no, I can see the necessary the wording, the and grammar. Right. Yeah. Where the where there's supposed to be a comma, where it's supposed to be a, a full stop, space after a comma, space after a foot stop, after a full stop. Yeah. This is uh, a no, profession. Everywhere that should be underlined is underlined. Mm -hmm. Where the date should be, it's there. Mm -hmm. Where the addresses are. Yeah, no, the, the letter is in order. Yeah, I think uh, ACC are doing a good job with I, their... I wanted you to look at it. Yeah, no, I, I've seen it. Mm -hmm. I've committed it to memory. <laughs> okay. Now, <laughs> DJ Kandeke. <laughs> All yours, <reports. laughs> in fact, I'm happy. This is the only time I'm happy that I don't have to read anything. Yet. Yeah, no, we are definitely not going to read this letter. <laughs> We're only going to read one line. <laughs> <Zambia Chab. laughs> they also added a link. <laughs> to a letter we assume should have been hard copy. So yeah, I don't know how we're going to click on that link, but <laughs> yeah, it was in PDF and there was a link. So <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't even in yeah, PDF. It was because, a picture. Because in PDF you can actually. Well, well, yeah, it was a picture, right? The, the letter was posted as a picture. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't posted okay. as a PDF. So they put a link in the picture. Yeah, they posted the 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 the, the, the letter as a picture, the press statement uh -huh. as a picture, and put a link. Mm. And when you read that statement, e, it leaves everything to be desired. Yeah. Oh, wow. I like it. <laughs> it leaves everything to be desired. <laughs> and guess who came to your maps defense? Motor vehicle. Shame. Whatever I got to do with your maps. Shame. You took yeah? a picture with him. Simply because your maps came to me and said, Sir, today me fluka, come back. And I said, Yes, we're coming back. And because of that, your maps must be hiding a motor. Isn't that self-importance? <laughs> Honestly speaking. <laughs> yeah, but you know, this now is, is, is just adding to the political connotations to it. Yeah, because he's claiming that your maps went to him saying, yes. not to me, Foluka. Exactly. What you are simply saying is that your maps is not comfortable with the government of the day. <laughs> I say that, yeah. In other words, and that he is hoping that you will come and rescue Zambia <laughs> from the regime. <laughs> but wait, did you, didn't you do the audios a disservice by not reading their letter? Because uh, you might be talking about some things that they addressed in that. 
You think we should have read it? Yes, I think we should have read it. I know it's excruciatingly painful to read it. Reading the audio's letter mm. is like reading mm, the <laughs> the love letter that Nathan left. Can you put it? I try to read it before his demise. <laughs> <laughs> no, that one was too long, man. <laughs> anyway, audio's letter. <laughs> So, press statement in relation to the seizure of the land cruiser of your maps. In relation to the online publications, we wish to confirm that the Anti-Corruption Commission did seize the land cruiser due to the ongoing investigations concerning the source of the purchased car by our artist. Your maps, through his car agent, who purchased the car in Dubai, through B Forward on his behalf, and not through any political affiliations, as the current speculations may try to suggest, I don't know why that is necessary. It's not because of the yeah. 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 <laughs> However, the delay in change of ownership from the agent's name was only due to the normal ongoing procedure of change of ownership. It is regrettable that our artist is associated with the ACC investigation due to the purchase of a car whose source is unknowingly to him, your maps in, uh, in brackets, yeah. uh, is questionable. We would like to let the public know that your maps is nonpartisan and therefore does, does support the government of the day. So he's nonpartisan, but he supports the government of the day. <laughs> As it is evi evident in the past performances, including an event hosted by His Excellency President Hakainde Ichideva. I don't think that was necessary. Yeah, since he's not partisan. Yeah, as management, we discourage the public from adhering to any kind of hearsay, hearsay, mm. <laughs> hearsay concerning the matter, and we, we distance ourselves from any ongoing speculations and stand with the truth that is written in the letter. We therefore ask the general public to respect and appreciate the SEC's professionalism as we do on the matter, as your maps is not the subject of the matter, but the car in question is. Please allow them to conduct their investigations and let the law take its course. Your maps is scheduled for festive season events and is enthusiastic to entertain as always. We thank everyone for their support. There's a link there, Zambia Kuchalo, Audios records, DJ Kandeke, issued by the management of the audios records. Complicated signature. <laughs> You've been through a lot, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Been... That, it was, that was excruciatingly painful because I had to edit it in my mind. <laughs> you see commas, yeah. full stop, add, add capital letters, the grammar is Yeah, You had to add pathetic. the header and the footer in your head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they, they should have just asked me to do this for them for I free. I know, like, yeah. like this I is, can edit it for free. This is a poor reflection of the quality of artist that yeah. your maps is. Uh, yeah, I'll just say that. Yeah, and, I mean, yeah, you're right. A big artist like your maps, yeah, is not supposed to have a PR statement coming out like this. As your a picture, your maps right now we can say is the biggest artist in Zambia, right? right. Yeah. He's always getting the, the views and all those things quickly, right? Yeah. He's getting million views in the quickest possible ways. Mm. He is our biggest artist in Zambia. Are we so bad in Zambia mm. that our biggest artist can have a PR statement looking like this? For me, it's better that they even kept quiet. Crazy. So to me, I think that uh, your maps, uh, DJ Kandeke apparently is the one who wrote this. I don't know that. Mm. Uh, so DJ Kandeke could be his friend and all those things, and they can still keep him close. If he wants, he can be paying him for, be his, for mm. being his friend. <laughs> but for issues like this, they need actual management. Yeah. Or he can be the manager, but they can just have a PR guy. Yes. Or girl. Or, or, yeah. or guys, come on. You can ask someone to write it for you. Like, oh, do you know how to write a letter? Yeah, Don't you have they never received worse. invitations? Like your maps has been to the UK mm -hmm. to 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 sing. Mm -hmm. He's been to events to sing to award shows. He's probably invited. Mm -hmm. This makes it worse. I'm even like I'm afraid to mention to my foreign friends that yeah, our biggest the, artist is going to a lot of white friends. <laughs> 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 to say that our friend, our, our biggest artist, our biggest artist is going through a scandal, and this is their PR statement yeah. from the manager. I'm, I'm I'm feeling sure the, to the do header that. is one big picture <laughs> with the background still there. Is it even in the middle? What did they no, want? No, it's to not do? even aligned. Like guys, what were you doing? So anyway, I mean, away from this, you know something I've learned from all this. Yeah. Uh, 
we need to do more to support our artists to be buying brand new vehicles. Yeah. Because our biggest artists also cannot be buying a vehicle from a vehicle yeah. from before. From before Adam. <laughs> yeah. no one. So you know that's why. Oh, by the way, I've 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 owned cars by the grace of God. It doesn't take that long to change ownership. I, I just, have I have not. I I just Maybe wanted to put it out there. Uh, Elmer, you didn't have to let them. <laughs> 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 By the grace of God, I have not owned any vehicle before. You know again. Well, but I'm familiar with the processes. I know it can that. actually be done in a day. Yes, this is the PR stand. And yeah. one thing I've noticed is that the vehicle didn't have the number plate from the the pictures that we've seen. It stayed for a long time without the number. Plate. Without the number, yeah. So the issue of changing ownership and registration. Eh, what goes well with Legana? <laughs> and the way, and by the way, yeah, they didn't address the issue in this. No, they didn't. They just went around it mm -hmm. and answered given Luvinda's statement before <laughs> he issued it. Since they somehow knew that given Luvinda was going to make all this political, <laughs> like how did given? Oh, by the way, the picture that he was talking about is this. Mm -hmm. You see how excited he is to hold the waist. <laughs> Of your map's wife <laughs> in his presence. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I can't see his hand. Was it on the it's waist or on buried the, the, on the oh, shoulder, right, bro? Me, me, me. It's, it's a joke. <laughs> no, but maybe your map's <laughs> hand is no. I think your map's hand is the one in the shoulder on the shoulder. Oh, I, I oh yeah. Well, it seems yeah, like, yeah. It seems like your map's hand is the one that's yeah. Why are we even given, dissecting given this? Given Luinda's hand is lost, <laughs> like we literally don't know where he's touching. <laughs> Sir, I don't <laughs> believe what they say to this speech. <laughs> you know. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so I think that uh, for your maps, we just need to up the game in terms of quality because yeah. I'm sure your maps is making a lot of money from the endorsements, from the shows. I'm sure he's making a ton of money. Streaming. Yeah, but you know, yeah, streaming. Mm. But you know, the problem is that if you don't have a financial manager who's sound, because right now. What he needs to look at it uh, to look at also his expenses because he might think he's so rich, yeah. And then as time goes by, since the expenses are more than what he's making, and then you end up being Lorinda will drag his name into legal issues, <laughs> you see. So, <laughs> <laughs> and you have to use every penny, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know if, if your maps want uh, a good life and a consistent uh, career, let him stay away from Lorinda, okay. I'm joking. <laughs> I think it should involve a lot of professionals, a lot of managers around him, people who can manage his finances. Because the last, uh, the last thing we want is to see the person. Because to me, I'll be honest, to mm. me, I view your maps as someone who's in the league of the Dizimas, who's in the league of JK, mm. who's in the league of Danikaya. Yeah, he's literally shaken the music scene. No, honestly Zambia. speaking, he's yeah, hands down. Yeah, so mm. it would be sad to see such a big artist. Uh, going down very badly into oblivion. Yes, and this happens, mm -hmm. and it starts like this. It starts with legal issues. It starts with what? Yeah. yeah. So he needs a proper manager. From the PR statement, we can see that uh, the the management is. I'm looking for a politically correct way. <laughs> leaving much to be <laughs> okay. designed. Yeah, leaving everything to be designed. <laughs> Maybe not everything. <laughs> <laughs> Living must be desired. <laughs> Your maps are such fundo, but I hope that they get they'll get away from this. They can only get away from this if they engage uh, people who can who are professionals. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we at least we're hopeful he's not in trouble. Hopefully, we 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 know obviously that he's not in trouble mm. at this point. But we just hope that he can get his car back, and we wish him well. We also uh, aren't anyway. All right, we have to go. Oh, by the way, uh, yeah, what to be next Monday? Next Monday will be the actual Christmas, right? Christmas is is it Monday or Wednesday? It should be on Monday. Yeah, Wednesday. <laughs> Christmas on Monday. Yes. Oh, in my head was on on Wednesday. Oh no, it's on Monday. It was on man. It's it's, it's on Monday. Monday. Yeah. So the next time we'll come here will be Christmas Day. Yeah. We'll come here with a turkey. Taking gesture. Watching Google. Not the country, Chofia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, please do subscribe, hit that bell and share. I hope you enjoyed the show. We enjoyed the show. Um, yeah. And what else? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> hey, like what you see? I know you do. 
Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.